Hello everyone. Um, my video is uh, of my son getting a, one of his first haircuts. And he had a few earlier ones where you had to hold him down, but uh, this one he was rather civil and uh, went into the salon and uh, and he got his haircut. And the thing is, is they play you know Mickey Mouse music and and stuff in the background. And if any of that music or whatever sounds gets into my video. Uh, it flags a video for a copyright infringement, which is really ridiculous considering this is a home video and you know the music or whatever is incidental. It certainly isn't the whole point of the video. Um, you know, I could I could counter that it's fair use, uh, but it doesn't stop them from automatically slapping the video with the copyright notice and then I gotta go back and forth for however long with threats that if I lose I get a strike against my account meanwhile they have no problem or with putting uh, the notices on everybody's videos it's really not a very good system unfortunately um, I mean I understand protecting copyrights but it was really silly uh, the, Nazi way it's being implemented. I don't know if that's the correct term, Nazi. Anyway, uh, you get the point, sorry, uh, for rambling about it. I am going to take the opportunity during this video uh, to uh, give secret messages to my son, as most other folks have muted me or turned the video off at this point. Uh, the messages are rather private. I would venture to guess at this point, <clears throat> which is pretty good. Considering my son is uh, the biggest fan of my videos, I think it's safe to say at some point he'll get my messages, and um, well, if something should happen to me while he's still young, uh, he will get to listen to these as he grows older, hopefully. and. Uh, maybe know his father uh, beyond his memories. So that said, I have 13 minutes and 20 seconds total on this video to leave my super secret message or messages. And um, well, I have the opportunity to use some of the free royalty free music out there which by the way is really nice I mean it's nice of folks to do that to counter all these freakish money grubbers uh, that, that, that slap copyright I mean geez at the very least if you pay a dollar you know for the song they let you use it in your own video what's wrong with them you know oh my god <laughs> so greedy listen when you're going to these commercial I mean I, I went to see Madonna and, you know she's real bad about or her people whatever bad about the copyright stuff you know just think about that how greedy they they scrubbing every little dime out of folks it's like come on they're making tons of money we pay tons of money for the concerts and you know come on ease up relax if you're paying for your bills and and stuff like that. What do you need more money for? Ah, uh, oh, sorry. Did I get off on the tangent here? I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, that's right. It's gonna leave super secret messages for my boy, uh, as opposed to putting the royalty-free music on here, which I could do, but you know, it gets a little boring. So, you know, of course, listening to me is probably no fun either. Not even boring. That's all good. All right. So, all right. What super secret message should I talk about? My wife, his mom. Hmm. 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 Maybe I'll leave that till towards the end. Make sure it's super secret. <laughs> all right. So I will then talk about. What would a father say to a son if, you know, from the grave? 
what would I say to my boy should I die now and I have the opportunity to speak to him when he's 18, 17. Oh man, that's quite the list. Well, let's start from what I think is pretty important and, and uh, is right on the top of my head. Um, is your future. I mean, everything is about your future. Uh, and it's so hard to think about the future, especially when you're a kid. Uh, you know, uh, kids are, for the most part, hedonists. You know, they think about what makes them happy right now. The future is like non-existent. Who cares? I mean, hey, I was there. Um, that's probably the hardest thing you're going to do in your life is to think about your future, to make decisions based on your future. But I can tell you from experience, my boy, that uh, you'll look back on things and regret bad decisions and regret not doing things that would have made life better for you down the road. And unfortunately, things are going to get tougher for you even than uh, for folks in the past. I mean, you're going to have to be virtually perfect, um, you know, to 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 have a good job. Uh, you, you don't necessarily have a lot of things going for you. You're not a minority, which, you know, some uh, situation minorities have a lot of advantages, scholarships and affirmative action and, and you're not going to have that. I'm not sure whether that's going to get worse or better in the future. My guess the way things are going is it's getting a little bit worse. <laughs> when, especially if you live in a majority minority area. So the folks around you all have advantages but they're actually the majority. So that's going to be tough. You're going to be competing with these folks and the only way you're going to pull that off is if you're perfect. So you got to really think about your decision-making processes. Every mistake you make makes it harder for you in the future. And um, that's tough. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it knocks you down. Every mistake has the possibility of keeping you from getting a better job or accomplishing something down the road. And the bigger the mistake, the more it'll knock you down. You see these clowns, you know, sitting under a bridge or at an intersection with a cardboard sign. And inevitably, the story there is mistakes. You know, if you talk to these folks, and by the way, they exist, you know, Hopefully I'm going to get the opportunity to show you um, how the wealthy folks live and the great nice neighborhoods and, and beautiful things you can have if you do well in life. And then I'll show you people that inevitably did not do well in life or made bad decisions. So how, how, how do they live under a bridge? Why, why are they sitting there with a cardboard sign? I mean, an asteroid didn't fall out of the sky and, and, and make them lame, you know, or bums, you know, they, 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 most, for the most part, I mean, they made bad decisions, they, you know, on drugs, I mean, a lot of it is drug use, uh, you know, they, they committed crimes, a good majority of them did that, and it's very unlikely it was just bad luck, you know, so, bad decisions tend to put you under the bridge, good decisions tend to put you on the ocean in a nice house. <clears throat> so I can't uh, I can't express how important it is when you're in school and your buddy's trying to talk you into going to the beach instead of going to class. You know, it's going to be fun going to the beach that day. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, I got uh, eh. Uh, sorry, I got something going on here, and I have to, it's all good. Um, 
before I got sidetracked. And I'm not going to redo this whole thing. <laughs> I only got three minutes left. So hopefully I get this three minutes done. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is if you suffer that one day and don't go to the beach, you stay and you do well in school, your life is, you know, average 80 years in length. Your youth, you know, when you're making all these crappy decisions is relatively minor period of your life, 10 years. It's a really a short period of your life. So you make all these bad decisions and you live like crap for 60 years, even though you had fun for five years. Trust me, it's not a good trade-off. Suffer for those five, 10 years. Work hard in high school. Do well in school. Why do I have to do the math? You're, oh, this is boring. I'm never going to use it. It doesn't matter. You know, it exercises your brain. It makes you smarter. It makes you work harder. That's what it's all about. But ultimately, it sets you up for later in life doing well. And that's the important thing. In other videos, I'll probably try to get a little bit more specific. Like, you know, what is the point in doing well in high school? What will it get me? Well, what will it get me doing well in college? I mean, it's no guarantee, these things. What it does is it just gives you better odds of succeeding. And a combination of a lot of good decision making gives you a much higher odds of succeeding than the clown who is constantly go skipping school and going to the beach and stealing radios out of cars and smoking pot. That guy, the odds of him living under a bridge are elevated enormously. Uh, I know I'm probably just chatting away, but I don't know, maybe you'll listen to this and maybe you'll say ah, maybe uh, I should do this maybe I should do well I hope so even if not you know I love you and um, even at uh, three and a half years old I'm proud of you uh, you're the best little boy you're definitely the best thing I've ever created and uh, if I'm not around for whatever reason, um, just know that if there's any way of seeing what you're doing after my demise, I am doing it. I'm watching. If it's possible, I will find a way to watch and cheer you on. If I could somehow get in there and give you some guidance, I would do it. Alright, it appears I'm at the end of the video here. So, uh, I'll do another one on another video. I love you, E. Bye.